So this will be a quick video on how to change out a um, catalytic converter um, and the O2 sensors on a 2005 Hyundai Tucson. Um, the unit that I received, the replacement unit, is an all-in-one exhaust manifold and catalytic converter. So as you can see, it's got a, a bung for the upper O2 sensor. Um, it looks like it's going to match up without any issues. Um, and the first thing I did was I disconnected the, o, the upper O2 sensor. I'm going to get underneath, disconnect these, the two bolts that go through here. I actually cracked these uh, all loose and they were surprisingly not that bad. I gave them a quick clean with a, with a brush um, and uh, they're coming off pretty easily. They're 14 mils, but um, there should be a um, heat shield right here, but uh, it basically just fell apart and fell off. So I'm going to finish taking these, taking the bottom bolts off. I'll take these uh, manifold bolts off. I will test fit the new manifold. If it looks good, I'll tighten it down. And it's just as simple as that. Um, I want, do want to show you what it sounds like to run without exhaust. So let's hear, let's do a quick uh, noise test with exhaust on. Then I'll drop the bottom tube out. We'll hear how bad it sounds without that. Maybe I'll try and run it without any manifold on. I don't know if it'll even start, to be honest with you. But yeah, let me do that shot. Not a really good way to show you all this, but this is from top down, this view. So these are the, uh, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine total to take off. Let me show you what it sounds like uh, running with actual exhaust. Okay, that's with exhaust. I'm gonna take off the bottom and I'll show you what it sounds like without without exhaust. Okay, I had to change angles a little bit there. Uh, I took out, I, I'm actually gonna have to cut out the lower bolts, um, but I took out all but one of the uh, manifold bolts. So the manifolds, exhaust manifold is nice and loose. This is what a uh, bad exhaust manifold, well, this should be what a bad exhaust manifold leak sounds like. Yeah, that was, that's, oof, you can smell the exhaust up here. That was pretty bad. All right, I'm gonna cut the bottom out and then take that last bolt out and uh, we'll be able to just pull the exhaust manifold right out of the top, hopefully. Okay, I got the bottom bolts out and uh, it's the last of the top ones. You can see it's uh, nice and loose already. Really, once you, once you get it all, once you get these all cracked, like the seal cracked on these, it's not terrible. But uh, I did disconnect the uh, the uh, O2 sensor, the upper O2 sensor. There we go. Oof. I don't know. Uh, so <laughs> here's what I had to cut off the bottom. This thing is heavy. Um, and here's a, this is a shield, this is a heat shield, so odd. New one does not have the same heat shield set up, doesn't have a provision for it either. And if we take a look at these side by side, you see the O2 sensors in a slightly different place. It looks, huh. The openings too. I, mean, I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference with this car. You know, a little bit of a restriction here is not going to kill this vehicle, but let's see if it fits. A bimetal multi-metal uh, flange exhaust gasket, similar to the ones you see on the head gaskets. It's actually pretty cool. The replacement's not quite as high tech. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay. 
thought it wasn't uh, lining up there for a moment, but this looks more like a user error. Let's see. Huh. Did we get behind that? One. This right here. There we go. There we go. That's where the exhaust goes to down below. So let's see. That's a little, a little roomier with this, looks like. Oh, I don't think I have to. Oh, do I have to do that? I shouldn't have to. Let's see. Well, since this sits out so far. Huh. Oil dipstick's a little bit in the way there. Hope I don't have to bend it, but I'm going to loosen it here. Well, the size that is, but I'll find out. Okay, got a, uh, let's see, 12 now. Uh, this is not going to work right. Nope. Didn't need a... Uh... Need an extension up on top of that. So let me get this all set up. Pop this out. bend out. That should whew, allow me to clear this. Yeah. Let's see. Ah. And I got to cut. I'll trim this off a little bit. So, I'm going to give this a little bit of a trim on this side, and then uh, I'll try to refit it. Okay, cut a, oops, sorry, cut a corner off. Let's see if that gets me closer. Yep. Go like that first, it goes in. Might have to coerce it a little bit here. There we go. Just have to tighten down all the bolts, and then come in and tighten up my uh, my connector for my oil here to get that closer after I get this tightened down. I gotta tighten these down somewhat evenly from the uh, center out. I didn't gum up this thread smashing that on. It's a little let's see. Ah. 
All right, that looks good. Oh. Okay. I just have to spend the next few minutes uh, tightening these all down and uh, then I'll bring you back when we're ready to uh, put in the um, O2 sensor. Okay, so everything's tightened down, at least up top. I gotta go from underneath and tighten things up. Uh, this kit I bought actually came with the lower gasket and bolts, which is kind of nice. Them a little more than what I expected. Um, so I'm going to tighten it up from underneath, and then I'll show you how I put in new um, O2 sensors. Okay, so I have the lower O2 sensor in. This is the upper one. Made sure that this is the right one for this setup um, and it's got the right plug you want to check out the plugs because there's a lot of universal ones that just won't plug in right there are two well, i mean you don't really need an o2 sensor socket but these really don't hurt when you're trying to get these out um and i mean i didn't have to take one out this upper one because i had to change out the catalytic converter which is part of the the exhaust manifold so I kind of got away with, you know, working with nice new, nice new pieces. But to take one out, you, there are two basic quote-unquote specialty sockets for this. Uh, this one right here is kind of one that goes like that. And then you hook up your ratchet to it at an offset. You don't want your ratchet to be at an offset. You want to use a standard deep style socket. Uh, um, deep style socket. You can use one like this that's got a little window cut into it. I guess you can make your own too. They make these pretty cheap. And then you can take this and use it to tighten it down. These are all pretty much universal 7 8 slash 22 millimeters. If you, I mean, if you can get a 22 millimeter wrench on the side of this, you, it might be a lot better, but um, sockets are usually a lot easier. It's usually a little bit, wow, they put barely any. I'm going to go Put a tiny bit more, but they put a little bit of anti seize in these to keep them from seizing up. I'm gonna go ahead a little bit more, then I'm gonna set this in place and tighten it down. You don't really want to mess with this, this is what's going to, you know, sense the amount of oxygen in your exhaust. All right, there, I got a little bit extra on that, and this is gonna be impossible to see on video, but yes, I know I'm spinning it backwards. I'm trying to find the beginning of the thread. You can do this with these plugged in, but uh, I thought I had the beginning of the thread there. But if you do this with these plugged in, with the actual electrical connection plugged in, then you do run the risk of twisting your wires up. So just remember that if you decide to do that. Doesn't look like it's too terrible of a spot. You don't have to kill these when you put them in. You, you want them tight, but you might need to take them out at some point, so. Go. Last step is to just clip it in. That's a tab there. Ah, that is the right way.
Flat blades going that way. No, no, no. Let's try it. There's only four ways this could fit. <laughs> Let's see here. There we go. I don't have to get a zip tie on that. That's basically it. So now the next thing we do is we start it up and we listen for leaks. I don't know if you're gonna be safe there, but I'll leave the camera there. Let's see if it, what it sounds like. That's pretty normal to see these uh, smoke a little bit because there usually is a little bit of uh, grease on them. Woo! That's a lot though on that. See, and it doesn't, it doesn't take long for that's all burn off. And that's about it. So pretty much all you're doing is you're taking out the, ex the exhaust manifold and the, uh, and the um, catalytic converter and the lower and the upper O2 sensors. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it sounds like it's got, it might have a little bit of a leak down at the bottom. I'll tighten that down some and see, uh, see what it sounds like. But uh, that's pretty much it. It's real simple. It's something you can do at home yourself and save a lot of money. Thanks very much for watching.